I don't care. You can do the trick? Yes! You did it! In your honor, dude. In your honor. You did the trick as well on the first one. I, I was like, I was, I literally in my head, I was like, this is the time. Strike quickly. Strike deftly. Hmm. You ever go ignite teleport? I was doing it for a bit. Um, um messing with it. I noticed that you liked going, uh, you just like going standard, like flash teleport. Yeah, I, I've tried out Ignite Teleport a few times, right? But the thing is, Fiora already... I, a lot of people have this overstatement. Like, people think Fiora is way more broken than she actually is, right? Okay. What they don't realize is, once you don't have parry, if the enemy jungler is in a 24-second range of coming towards you, which is like parry cooldown, you mm, don't have that it. many tools. It's very <laughs> difficult, right? And not to mention that Fiora doesn't have any CC in her kit, and she has arguably one of the worst wave players in top lane at the beginning of the game right mm -hmm. like i've tested it out and i think camille shen and malphite are some of the only top laners who have worse wave clear than fiora right because you need whip you need tiamat and you have to use your w if you don't have any decent wave killer and it's really hard to manage these things that's why i think needing flash is important just for the safety purpose of it like you need to have that safety like net right what about ghost i know that sounds like a dumb no. question but uh, it's not actually, there is some niches where Ghost is good, particularly into Darius and Trindamir. I personally don't go with, I just run Ignite and Flash and it usually does a trick. But, mm. <clears throat> it is possible to go Ghost with, um, like in these specific matchups where you can get run down, right? It's funny you said that, the Trindamir thing, because I specifically would pick Fiora in high elo just to counter Trindamir and I would always go Ghost every yeah, time it works pretty well yeah it works yeah pretty well. that's so funny that's so funny that you said th that exact matchup yeah. I, I didn't do it on darius though yeah because he can run you down right and you don't want to go into these long trades with him but ignite usually gives you enough damage to where he isn't able to get all that damage off right your last pick is pretty good all right we're banning cannon yeah so this is a sigh on top what are you thinking uh, well, you could go cut down. Conqueror is still the obvious choice here. I don't think it's worth it, though. I think Sligo last time, because they only have one person who have more health than you, just Scion. And here, go second win instead of bone plating. And tenacity here. Legend tenacity is probably better. We'll give you more value later we'll on. Keep it game. unflinching. Yeah, 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 of course. It's this thing I want to explain, and I, I, I have trouble explaining it a lot of times. I'm going to explain it on paint, because it's uh, that's the easiest way for me to explain it. You'll see what I mean. So can you see my paint right y now? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's assume this is Fiora, right? This is a trick that is really important and I've seen almost nobody abuse it, right? This is Fiora, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the enemy enemy top laner. And your vital is here and your Q range is this, okay? okay. It does not reach. So one trick I do is that, you know how people like, I like to do this tethering dance where they walk forward and they walk back and they follow you, right? Yeah. And they always <clears> keep <throat> you out of range. Well, one thing I do is that I take like five steps forward. Like this is just an example, right? And then I take one step back. And what they do is that they take five steps back. And by the time I did that one step, they've already taken two steps back, which means instead of being like this, right? The range, it's actually like this. Mm. Uh, it, yeah, it, it I know what you're doing. Right. Yeah, I know what you're doing. It's like, it's like games up. Like, yeah, okay, got it. I'm removing it and we're going back into it. But yeah, and a lot of people don't abuse it. Are you doing, are you doing Doran shield or? Uh, Doran's blade. Wow. Okay, it looks like it's an 80 Scion. Uh, tank sign is a bad way to go against uh, Fiora. You never go tank sign against Fiora. You'll just lose instantly. So you look like it's an 80 sign, but you can just stay in the tri bush for now. Care if Bard invades, they might get an invade here, but I doubt it. With their this comp. is NA. It's NA. They don't invade. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just okay. telling you, I, I do this shit all day. They don't. They, they're lazy players. Yeah, you have the experience. Mm -hmm. the, EUS, EUS will invade every game. NA will invade like 10% of the time. Like, I'm, I'm just telling <laughs> you. And you know I'm right. You, you know it's true. They'll invade like every game on your server. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> it's like a call. It's I'm t it's it's a culture diff or something. Like they just are yeah. way more passive over here. And it's like they, they have like so many different routes and shit. Like you go through mid, you go through bot bush. Like it's crazy. Yeah, NA only goes here, every game. Yeah. So what you can do is just go into, into, into the the last bush of the lane, right? And you can just get a quick cheese. Cheesing on hero is really valuable. He could be here, but I guess we don't care, do we? Uh, yeah, he could. But oh, well. yeah, just shoot him. Out of that. Oh well, he is there. Okay. Now you can just walk back. Walk back, right? Go, uh, walk back. Okay, now you're fine. So you know the next battle is gonna be a front battle, right? Yep. So now it's a front battle. Perfect. 
And what I want to, what I want you to do a lot is, oh, he's just AFK. Yeah, if he's not responding, yeah, I'm just walk, gonna take. Walk him. away, walk away, and reset the vital so it appears on front. And now you can start fighting him again. What I recommend is auto the front vital and then hold your Q for the back one. Oh, got and it. Don't reset it. Don't reset it. Make him lose XP if he wants to reset it. Perfect. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Now auto and Q the back one. Nice. Use your pot. Use your pot. You got this. Okay. Let's nice. go! Okay, nice. That's good. And honestly, I think you just recall that right now. You'd recall here? First this? Yeah, I'd, I'd recall here instantly. Just get a uh, longsword refillable. TP holds the freeze and you can't really do much about it. Wow. I guess because it's Scion. Yeah. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> Maybe not, but buy a longsword refillable. Perfect. I guess maybe to teleport in here wasn't the best call because because it's a scion, right? I think someone get the whole wave. Honestly, I always get surprised by that, but it's still quite fine. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. We could talk about that after. That's no big deal. Yeah. <clears throat> Look, he out farms me anyways. How funny is that? Yeah, that's kind of what I hate about signs that you get punished for killing him. <laughs> Not the funniest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and actually on that on that note, uh, you can QW into QW. Nice. In your honor. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm canceling auto, okay. so. Auto Q. You can do the trick? Yes! You did! In your honor, dude. In your honor. Let's go. He got 4 HP, though, unfortunate. You did I... the trick as well on the first one. I, I was like, I was, I literally in my head, I was like, this is the time. This is the time <laughs> to do this. This is the moment. <laughs> yeah, I could see, I could see it like three layers. Wow. Is this wow. a bait? <laughs> no, Shaco's mid. That's so weird. Yeah, I guess he's just having fun. And hey. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, not a good. Ah, oh, okay, bad. Good. I'm bad. Whoops. All good. All good. We're chilling. Damn, that would have been too good. God damn it. Yeah, I think this cracks. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's chilling, dude. All right, uh, I think a reset here. That's what I'm feeling. Yes. I would actually go Vampire Skepter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think since you're ahead, is this thing you can do, right? It's a very niche thing you can do. But as you can Scion, you can go Bork Bork for Scion. It's very, very strong. Especially okay. AD Scion. Because what happens against AD Scion is that once they get tab eyes, they t with Phaser specifically, they tend, to go, they tend to go for short trades, out trade you, and just repeat that with Corrupting Pot, right? Hmm. Okay. You can't really re reach out to them because of the slows and everything. Huh? Very nice. I've, I was going to say, this is probably the one champ that I... I would say in terms of coaching me, this is one of the champs that I probably have the most like current experience on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. The, that's why it's impressive that you were coming up with things that I hadn't figured out yet. Because I, I thought I figured out just about everything, but nope. Yeah, Every time... <laughs> Every time the challenger players like the one trick ponies, they always know. They always know a lot more they than me. Have, like, some, some yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is like phase right. <laughs> He's BMing me, dude. Yeah. Can't live like I don't this. Know what's up with him. Yeah, yeah. Can't let him disrespect you like that. I know. <laughs> it's insulting. Mm, but yeah. Uh, I guess in early game it's it's uh, it's fine, but it, what you want to do is especially against Scion, just focus on hitting the vitals mainly, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you're, if you're gonna get an auto attack, try to get it on the vital, right? Because that's what does the most damage. Yeah, I think what you can do here is just crash it and bounce back and freeze it. Okay, I like that idea. Uh, and the Vamp Scepter will help with that too. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm bad. Uh, you, you, yeah, you're chilling now. He's gonna clear it up and yeah, nice. This guy doesn't know what he's doing, I think. It didn't go under though, which is, but I don't think. Oh, maybe yeah, he, he has will. vision, by the way. He has vision because he's oh. Vital. oh, I could use that right now. <laughs> yeah, you God, can. I'm so stupid. Okay, okay, cool. Got it. I That's noticed this fine, guy fine. is not, never. He's never gonna give me the stun now. He's pretty much yeah, evolved. You can just stay near your mages and he'll push in with his Q. Force him to okay. push in. Oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To try to. Yeah. Was oh, it the he wrong angle? He can't kill you, right? As long as you're just careful. He might try here in a minute, but he doesn't have ignite. Yeah, he, he might try. He doesn't have the damage though. Okay, nice. Now you can just hold this freeze. If up oh, back battle, you can reset it whenever you want. Got it. Right. It's all. all, all I think he just resetted that... himself. <laughs> yeah, he. <already> <laughs> 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 I 
perfect. We take those. <laughs> the homie, awesome. brother Scion. Yeah. So always, you know it's a front vital? Just auto it? Where is he going? He's going on an adventure. He has like only enough mana for his ultimate. Nice reaction. To oh, he's going for the fruit. If he can't out trade you here. There's no point in ulting him yet, but you can help yeah. your Irelia. Yeah. yeah, you can I'm kill a little, them both. I'm a little afraid though. Carry it? Oh, okay. Oh. Well, well, he's you, a genius. You, you, you ult him. Yeah. Well, he's dead. He has no flash, right? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you, uh, you just fail out. The sign passive will kill you if you stay. Yeah. yeah. You can just recall that as well. Because the, the rave's already pushing towards you. Sweet. Might be a bit big though, so... Yeah, I'll back now. Hopefully Zed stay doesn't... Down. Okay, Zed isn't a genius. I thought he might try to follow and dive, but no. So are yeah, you uh, rushing this without boots, or...? Uh, yeah, I, uh, not without boots. You need boots. Okay. I'm oh, just gonna well, go now. Yeah, because you have enough mana and you're fine. The reason why you want boots against, um, with Fiora is that uh, if the enemy has a boots advantage on you, they can kite the vitals way easier. You got it. Enemy to have boots, boots advantage, really not good. Especially I noticed you don't go tier twos advantage. a lot. Is that, was that just luck that I saw that, or was that...? Um, it might be. It's... I, usually Fiora has like these strong item power spikes, so you want to get them as quick as possible. Got it. But in some specific matchups, I will go, um, yeah, you can just all in him here. He's trolling. He's like, he's kind of dead basically, right? I'm going to here in a second, yeah. I was I trying not to tell well. on it. You can flash. Oh, nice. Let's go. Yeah, he's just dead. Yeah, he dies here. Give up. Yeah. Um, if they had, for example, a Hecarim jungle or like a tank jungle, I would have said you can go cut down. Because what I do is that I go cut in and I go Bork so I don't stack HP. One second. What the hell is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's backing off. He's a genius. Yeah. So if they have like a tank jungle, you can go cut down with Bork, right? Mm -hmm. And you have, you have so much damage with it, right? But here they had a Zed, so I'm like, nah, it's not the right play here. I don't know where their jungler is. I'm a little scared to just like cock measure. I'm missing so much farm. Yeah. This Struggles. Right, though. All right, Zed definitely goes mid here. I've never worked much with Blade of the Rune King, but I'm seeing it more and more, and it makes me think that it's almost like an underrated item. Oh yeah, for sure. The on hit on is extremely powerful on Pyora. Shaco is probably up here, he's so if he's not... I, I think he's bot side. We saw him, no? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Nice, clean one. Bad though. Yeah, yeah, you don't have enough mana. Flash God out damn there. it. You're fine. Wow, he's so confident. Yeah, okay. He can't do yeah. it. Um, the thing is, into some tanks, you can run Presence of Mind, right? Mm hmm. I personally don't like it that often because against. um. Okay, nice. Just get your pickaxe and come back. Against, like, Scion with his passive, you don't want to die, so Triumph is pretty helpful. And just in general, I'm a really greedy player, so I like mm. to limit us a lot. But presence of mind definitely does help. For some reason, I'm I thought good. he was in there. I'm just gonna slow push from here, yeah? Yeah, sounds good. One issue, uh, it's like, if you were playing like a Jace or like a, a champion with like really good wake, you could just crash it so quickly and like get some platings, right? But if mm. you're pushing, it's not that possible. Because you have to consume like all your mana if you want to push decently. Yeah, no, I agree completely. I know what you mean. Yeah, I guess just ping the SS and hope the teams to die, I guess. Well, he has no ult. I don't know where the hell he's going to go. Yeah, I mean, this guy's a bit weird. This place has a bit weird, so... <laughs> you, 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 you don't know what to expect. <laughs> so he's, yeah, a honestly, he's a genius. He's a genius. Yeah, you can take place if he's not here. If not, you can just recall for Bork, honestly. Because the power spike is just insane. Got it. He has no vision as well. Yeah, no I I love that fucking trick, dude. That's like my favorite one so far. Yeah. That's my favorite one that you, that you gave me. That's amazing. The fact that it never clicked too, just it bothers me. I wonder yeah, how it, many times I so fucked natural. up. I wonder how many times I fucked up in my history with this champion because they had vision and I didn't I didn't piece that together. You know, yeah. it was right in front mm -hmm. of my face the whole time and it never clicked. Okay, this is at least going to be a free kill. Yeah, I should be free. Oh, I didn't get that. Old, but at least have to cover. Oh, he might ult in the other direction. You gotta be careful. Okay, nice blocking him off. Okay, nice. Sweet. Yeah. I hate He's this fucking thing. Wave now. He's gonna try to kill there me, but... 
Yeah. So I actually, I actually don't mind that. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, there's Zed and Shaco back off. Mm. Yeah, that's Watch my bad. Me. Brain lag. I take oh, no, too much damage you. from the passive. Yeah. I was being fancy. I should just get away from it. Oh good. Just get a long sword now. The the build is very risky because you don't have any tankiness, right? You're extremely yeah. squishy. Yeah, I got lazy there because I thought I wanted to keep the wave alive and I was trying to bait him away from it. But the parry doesn't even seem to slow the passive's attack speed. <laughs> it was still uh, hitting me yeah. at like Mach 10. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Especially with phase, rush, phase rush, he's not even slowed. That was so weird because I would have had more health. I wouldn't have died. I would have been able to yeah, just ult the Shaco and kill. Yeah, Yeah, because you can, you, can, you can just one shot him. Just one the Shaco. Yeah. All right. That's so funny. Oh god. Science bot lane. Just oof, push it in, push it in, get those plates before yeah. the plates disappear. This is like a very good fear moment. Uh, even, uh, even use W for push. I'm it. going to on this one, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. Wait for the mages to like group up. Usually. Hurry, Fior, hurry, you little bitch. Get it, get it, get it. See how slow she is to push? <laughs> I hate it, man. But now the, o the only it, yeah. downside, the only downside. <laughs> there you get those free juicy platings, yeah. We get two of them back off here, I think. Nice. Sweet. <sighs> I'm thinking about just rotating for a second just to see where it goes. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, especially if you're playing top lane, like this is a tip for a lot of players. Just don't don't stay top lane and then like let your impact be limited to there. Okay, you can ult him. Pop him. Nice parry. Walking the thing. Okay. Give me a off. bitch. All right. Well. Okay. Sounds good. He flash. Uh, he's racking. You. He's like doing some damage to your turret there. You could just go there to defend, even though you have no mana. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk Unless it up. It's a lot of gold. Yeah. Question about an item while I'm walking. Um, yeah. Essence Reaver. Uh, it's not that good anymore. It's really good in low elo. A lot more because it helps you like stay in, in side lane a lot more because the mana. Got it. But that's literally how I felt. Yeah, it. that's how I felt. I yeah. was like, this probably doesn't work in higher level. That's why no one plays it. That's what I was thinking yeah. the whole time. I was like, this feels really fun, but I feel like with better laners, you can't go the item. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just not worth it. Especially considering like, it's not that even gold efficient. You're playing, you're playing 3000 for 4580 when Hydra gives you like 70, right? So mm. it's like a bit hard to, to do. If you can take turret, that'd be pretty good here. It's first, nah, he, he teleported, I think. Oh my yes, god. Yes, you gotta be a bit careful here. You don't do too much damage on Holy him. shit, yeah, he does. He's yeah, like the final crazy. boss of the game now. <laughs> There's a kind of, I really just like the sign play style, right? Because it's like he wins by him dying. What should Maybe. we buy? <laughs> what should we buy? Might, just get a whip. Just get a whip and you're fine. Now, it's a bit interesting here, right? I would sell your, your I would sell your refillable for tier. Here. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's discuss that while I'm walking back. We'll probably lose tower yeah. here because he's bullshit, but But so two things you can move strider gore both uh, strider gore both are viable this game It's all a matter of play style, right? I would personally go stride to, to carry the game harder, right? Huh? But if you want to play for team fights to be more consistent Gore would be better huh? uh, you, you, can, you can melt him now by the way if you get the chance to hit him Okay, yeah, but he's gonna play it very slow. I think he I think he's learned yeah. He's evolved. And, and the reasoning for tier is that with this build, right, you can you have a lot of sustain, you can stay on side lane a lot, but you run out of mana too quickly. And so it's just having the tier helps you sustain a lot more and be on the side lane, especially whenever Scion takes Hullbreaker. He's just like pushing over and over. Oh, you, you got him. You, you could smell it. <laughs> nice W. Q him, Q him, Q him. Oh, oh, wow. That was a very good thing. Mm. Get Me off. out. Ah, uh, nice try ordering the minions for the sustain. Yeah. yeah that was good by him, though. Man. That was good by him. Yeah. If you did, like, a slightly shorter Q, right, you would have hit him, but it was still... Mm, got it. it. Yeah, yeah, got it. Uh, so, what, what place are you feeling? I kind of want you to do a stride. Yeah, I'm doing it. Dude, this is your coaching. Yeah. Hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I don't play this style at all, so this is why I'm wanting to try. I've never bought the tier, and this type of path, I never go this path. So this is all good stuff. Yeah, and also change your trinket to red trinket. It's very okay. helpful. Yeah. So what you want to do is just get your you get your uh, stride as soon as possible, and then we can start playing the game actually, right? Getting into it. 
It'd be a lot easier to manage the Scion too if I had it. But he actually, yeah. that champion plays pretty well into Fiora, at least in terms of like mobility. It's not yeah, that bad. People, people think the Scion's bad into Fiora only because they've seen Grasp, Fiora, Grasp Scion, right? Mm. Which is just terrible. The AD Scion is a good bit of damage and has a lot of mobility. It's not to be underestimated, honestly. Yeah, he, I mean, he has outplay potential on you, like, there. He could definitely... If I was worse, he could have yeah. killed me without me killing him, even. Mm -hmm. For sure. Right, so Am Zed I afraid? On you or Shaco? Yeah, I'm gonna back uh, down I'm until really I know more. I'm not afraid of Zed that much, but if they're both here, it kind of sucks, right? You can kill him. You can, you, you, I'm pretty sure you could one-shot him in, like, two seconds. But just parry his first ult, if you can, like, as it lands on you. Interesting, yeah, Q, okay. QR instantly. Just QR instantly. You got this. If, if he runs away, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh wow. Okay. My W, yeah. Mm. All good. I played that bad though. All good, yeah. Just uh, the minions. The, the issue is that people, uh, like, one big issue is that creep lock really fucks Fiora over. Hmm. See? Because it's all about the movement, and if you can't get good. Oh. What the oh, hell? Geez. I this tanked it for her, but. <laughs> well, I mean, at least he's coming, so he should, he should be dead. Oh, Q out. Yeah, because. You gotta be careful there. He might W E Q you, so yeah. You can walk up and parry if you want, honestly. Nice, pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, sell the Dolan's blade. Yeah, I'm gonna back now. Uh, yeah, you have enough for actually stride. You can. Uh, honestly, I'd still sell Doran, so I wouldn't wait for it because you you want a pink here. Okay. So yeah, just sell, sell it by trying oh. to get a pink. Oh, never yeah, mind. Uh, it didn't work. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm just gonna go to bottom and maybe flank here to start and see what they do because they don't have a. What? Yeah, wait. I, I, I fucked up the map. Actually, you didn't have to sell it, but. No, 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 oh, no! I did, I did, I did, I did. You're yeah, fine. Yeah, you're yeah, fine. Stupid. Now what you want to do is think how an assassin would think. So you'd be like, okay, where is the ADC going? I think the ADC is going mid to top jungle. I'm gonna take this real quick, right? Yeah, that's that's fine. You can take that because blue buff is really strong on Fiora. So, right, so what I would do is like path through mid, go into some places, try to see where MF's gonna be, right? Yeah, I like that. I can I can work my way through that, yeah. Okay. I think if this is like all. Come up in a few seconds. Go in that bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the QR on her. On her. No one shot her. Oh, ah, close. Damn it. Yeah, very close. close. It was very close. Aurelia's really gonna clean it. Pretty well. She's gonna clean it. No, damn. Uh, no, damn. Yeah, you guys were just outnumbered there. It wasn't really. I did okay, like I did like testing it. The other thing is I was really slow on stride breaker. So let's talk about yeah. that. Let's talk about the combo here. So for I jumped in, I ulted. Are you just opening stride breaker versus ADC there? Like when uh, she pops well, it up? Depends. Usually I don't, right? Okay. Because what I do is that I auto one vital, I eat the other one, and then I Q and I stride breaker. I can show it to you in, in practice uh, after the game. Got uh, it. I'll buy cloth armor here for tab eyes. Okay. And then another pink, for sure. Probably that definitely would be helpful. If this play style, you need it. Because you, you're right. basically, your brain, you're thinking like, I really want to pick people off. Is literally what you're thinking yeah. in mid-game. Got it. So, okay. right, there's Drake, right? So, I, I, you know they're going to be in the jungle on that side, right? Mm -hmm. You try to go into the enemy jungle through Drake. And it's even better whenever there's Hextech Gates. Hextech Gates has gotten me so many free kills. So, right, right, you know he's coming in. Okay. Maybe he just jumped it, yeah. Crux. Yeah, Q over the wall. Go on Crux now, take the fast oh. oh, Wait, wait, wait for Bar. Ultimate kill him. Nice parry. Go on him. Stride breaker. He's ulti. Yeah, he should be. Now, oh, he shit. He can run away. Yeah, Fuck you, Bard! Nah. <laughs> no, the Bard. Yeah, I, think, I think it's a clone. Just Q out. It's such a weird. Oh, shit. Nah, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. The issue with this build is that it requires you to be very precise. Do you mm. see how each mistake matters a lot, right? Mm -hmm. That's why gore is more like, oh, just go gore and press it on the Go stomp, the yeah. Yeah, it's just way more intuitive. Right? I tried to parry, I tried to parry his Q, but he did not respond the way that I expected him to. I did, he, you, you did parry his Q, it just that it didn't connect to the wall. Yeah. That was the issue. I'm thinking about TPing. Yeah, definitely. You can look for a TP here. I've already missed the wave up there, so. So yeah, it's already lost. There's not much to do about that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there. Okay. No! <laughs> no, at least got it though. At least got it. <laughs> it was 
<laughs> I stood right on the edge of the MF hole. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Okay. We'll go with this. And what are you what are you doing for a third item? Is are you going mana moon? Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, usually mana moon is just for the item, right? You could go here, but here you need tankiness, right? You what do you want to do? Uh, honestly, cloth armor would be better. You're you going death stance? Yeah, death stance. Got it, got it. Yeah, I wasn't sure exactly what third item you were thinking. Yeah, because the, the two first items already give you enough damage, right? Mm -hmm. And the p whole point is that the, the third item needs to help you survive, right? You can get, you can wait for a longsword here as well, but... Okay. It's whatever. Okay. So now, what I always do is that I, I put my eyes around the objective. The next objective is Nash. And what you'll realize is that people subconsciously, without knowing, always move around the objective, right? Even if they're not thinking about it, mm -hmm. they'll always move around it. Because that's where action is happening, right? And you can use those tricks to, like, like get some catches, right? Got it. So I'm going to push this in and then start sliding over there. Yeah, that's what I do. I always tell people, push, roam. Push, move, right? Look for the stuff, a flank or something. He doesn't want to be one you. You can just you just tap him. Like, I'm a little move. afraid of the bard rotation here. I agree. You need to be careful. Okay. Fuck you, Shaco. Hate AP Shaco so much. Yeah, it's a pain. He won't okay. do it. He won't do it. You gotta be very careful. Your comp is very iffy. You don't have much uh, structure, but it is what it is. Yeah, so in this situation, what I do is that I look for a catch, and if I can't get one, I just maybe move around until I get my TP or until my TP is coming up and go bot lane, right? Because the thing is, if you let them group too much, they won't be openings. Yeah. So maybe you have to open the game up, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to move this wave. She's so confident. She knows. She has somebody. Okay. Yeah. One second. Yeah, the cyan's not gonna let it go. No, it's fine. I have a small audio issue. I can't hear you right now. Let me just fix it real quick. <clears throat> You're good. It's a bug with my headset. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can just yeah, cut out this wave and look for a rotate. I think it's fine. Okay, I'm going back over. Yeah. Team's getting slapped. Okay. Yeah, it's not that good. Okay, I'm back though. I can hear you now. Well, okay. I just had a small audio issue. I can hear you. Okay. Here for the bar. He's just. Yeah, I can't 2v1. I'm in there. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, get out of there as soon as possible. Yeah, just queue out, queue out, queue out. Got it. Nice. Uh, you should be fine. I'll just no, push bot, I guess. Wrong. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, I like that call. So honestly, you're the champ that can use it the, the best out of all the champs. Hope your team's doing well. Okay, they can't do Baron at least, it's fine. Okay, so now the plan is, I don't even think you need to recall, because tempo-wise, recalling here would be kind of bad. So just push in bot right now, just to get pressure. You have the mana with the blue buff. And once you're going bot lane here, you're going to be able to open up the map to get some really nasty TPs or some flanks here. Okay. Especially, I think Drake is coming up in like 1 minute 30 or something, right? Nice. It's perfect. Cheer, mod. Yeah, Drake is coming up in a minute. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, Shaco's coming, but he's a bit lacking. He's a bit behind because he hasn't had the time to... Okay, you can go on to him. He has no, he has no W. Carry that. Perfect. Nice dodge. No. No. Yeah, it's fine. He, I mean, he used ult and you have sustain, so you're not yeah. worried. Yeah. That you so that's how you, that's the... how you fight Zed, huh? That's how you do it? You just parry yeah, yeah. the first R? Interesting. What's well, the logic behind it? Uh, cause you can get a guaranteed parry hit with the slow. And that's what matters the most, right? To get your ult off quicker later on. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't have ult either. I would have definitely fucked him up. Mm -hmm. Not even yeah. really looking, but... They're kind of split at the moment. Yeah, I think you can go over this wall and like maybe look for something here. On the okay. To remove their vision. Ah, uh, he's not gonna let me. Oh my god, fuck off, dude. Oh, 
we have good burst, so I think just rushing yeah, this I down think, is. I think it's fine. It's of a course. It's kind of a 50 50, but yeah, it is what it is. This wow. is amazing. <laughs> That's like a dream. Holy shit, Bart is fucking smoking pot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he went over that, that wall, crazy. dude. What was There's his play for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was that? That's the US Bard. Yeah, it, holy shit. That's very crazy. aggro, very aggro. Yeah. Uh, one thing people uh, you don't often struggle to team fight with fear because there's so much going on. Usually, you want to either get a quick ult proc to heal your team, mm -hmm. or you want to kill a high priority target, like MF or Zed, right? So here, let's assume the fight was a bit worse. You could have ulted the bard just for the sake of getting the healing, right? Oh, got it, got it. Okay, interesting. I like that. Right, but because it was already like hard one, it was, there's no need. But you I'm just gonna that. TP to this because I feel like we can yeah. just burst it down. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Uh, by the way, you can tell the clone from the real one if you by the vitals. I can explain that to you in a second. I'm just stressing him out. Yeah. Yeah, like here you can ult, you can ult the yeah for the healing. Perfect. Now your, your team gets free healing, right? They're not using it. Right? Yeah, they're it they didn't like it. <laughs> they didn't like that healing. <laughs> healing. Nice. Okay, this is good. Oh, Aurelia flank. Bar's gonna leave. They can't help themselves. Okay. They just can't help them. They gotta fight it. They gotta take him. That's what I hate is that uh, <laughs> you, you want really structured gameplay, but some players just have too much bloodlust. Yeah. Just, like, constantly fight it. And um, you just see me in chat like, please don't fight. And like, I'm pinging back like 24 times in one gank. In, in one game, right? Oh, he's there. Yeah, he goes over there. Yeah, he's hitting the fake one as well. He's gonna die. Okay, you can kill the wall just to I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're fine. You're fine, you're fine. What do you think for a uh, uh, next item here? Uh, Here, I would go man, uh, man, Muramana now. Okay. Yeah. What's good is that Muramana gives you like 80 to 90, 80, right? Mm -hmm. And here, you could go one build that I like to go a lot. It's kind of strong, but maybe not in this game. It's a Manum unit of Frozen Heart. Huh? Right? And the people people are like, yeah, but you have no health. But the thing is, Fiora gets like getting 400 more health on a Fiora is not that valuable because you're healing for like thousands or 500, like 500, 1,000. So that kind of works as health, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really good to get resistances on Fiora. Really, really nice. Uh, I'm just gonna hang back until I know more. Yeah, you don't have too much info. You don't want to show them that you're there either. Yeah, perfect. You, you, can, you can go to try, I think, now, because uh, check their trinkets. I, th I don't think they have yellow trinkets. They only have blue and red. Mm. Yeah, they only have blue wow, that's really they smart. That's a smart uh, identify there by you. It's really smart. Yeah, you, you, I do this a ton whenever I'm playing with uh, with this build, right? I want to go, but I kind of want to... Yeah. Okay. You can. Like, look at the vital damage. It's huge. And the Borg. Okay. Just... It's got to be. Fuck, it was bad yeah, call yeah, for me to follow. Bad. Oh. Uh, yeah, did that healing? Yeah. What? That was a good call. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It was my fault was... to go into that bush after. Also, to flash and try to hit the vital is just fucking yeah, stupid. Yeah, I don't think it was necessary to flash there. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure it yeah. But otherwise, pretty good. You still killed it. You got the death dance healing. So look how much damage you tanked. 3k damage. No, 3.7k damage, right? Yeah, that's quite a bit. Holy shit. And so the thing is... Even if you have extra HP on Fiora, it doesn't matter because you're healing most of it, right? So what you want to have especially is extra resistances. That's why the ma Mana Immune Frozen Heart build is particularly good. And of course, the Frozen Heart gives you more mana, which gives you more AD because of the Mana Immune, right? But in this game, though, you wouldn't do that. You'd probably go, what, GA next? Oh, uh, honestly... I might just go for something really aggressive like Hydra, just to get a lot I like of AD Hydra there. Pushing. Yeah, I like Hydra there. Right? Yeah, but also Jay is pretty good here because you don't want to die and also if your team gets a kill you get death dance healing which is really good because now people forget that death dance healing scales with bonus 80 so now if you have mana immune that gives you a ton of 80 so tons of healing what, what you would do ideally here is farm until you get your mana immune power spike it's really just huge it's insane right? yeah i'm gonna so, i'm gonna kite back and uh or move towards drag i don't know what the fuck my team's doing over here they're just like they're just like uh, hiding addicts. I talk shit about NA now they're throwing down. 
80 kills in 31 minutes, let's go for it. Yeah. I, I don't uh, think okay, I... You can do the Drake, but only if you get a cast before it. Should I, what I do is go to the... Ooh. Jesus, what the fuck was that? Yeah. It was like a bad dream. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> what you can do is queue over the dragon wall to get a flank. But I, I think wanna... it's too late now. Yeah. I want to fight with Vayne, but Vayne's not pinging confidently at all. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a 3v3, actually. The vitals off, get the healing, nice. Nice. Perfect. Oh uh, yeah, just recall when you get the chance for the man immune, and otherwise you're chilling. Okay. I like it. So this right, does, this it does right feel now. strong. This does feel strong. Yeah, this build. It's, it's harder to play though. You have to use a lot. You have to use your head a lot more, right? Oh wow. It's, it knows, it's yeah, yeah, the vitals. See it? Oh, let's go back over that one in post before I... Oh, God. You have to dance if you dodge. You can... Okay. Oh. <laughs> let's go. Hey. All you, dude. All you. Uh, nah, all you, man. You see that? All that you, dude. Let's it was... Your, you willed it. You willed it into existence. Yeah, look at your 80. You just got... You just got 70, 80 from that. That's 60. crazy. We could just end here. It's, it's insane. Yeah, you can just end here. Wait, but can you put your mouse on death dance to see the healing right now? How much it does? Jesus. 420 healing just for getting a kill. Dude, this is great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That was crazy. You played it pretty well as well. Thanks, man. Honestly, yeah, the, uh, thank you. The, uh, the big takeaways here for me from what I normally do. And basically I feel like we're playing completely different, which is cool. I, I think that's cool mm -hmm. because I, yeah. Definitely learned a lot. I want to mess with this more. I'll probably mess with this more uh, on, on my secret niece accounts. My secret niece high elo accounts. Okay. And, yeah. and see, because I, I wanted to test it in like a diamond range before I took it a little higher because Got it. I didn't, I wasn't really sure yet. This says plat, but it's not. It's like diamond. The, uh, the big thing is for me, you're looking to push and flank more and mm -hmm. push and yeah. flank more and push and pick people off more like you're really really hungry to, to to pick people off i've never played fiora like that i mean i'll try to catch people but i don't think as act like not as actively as you seem to want to and yeah. i think you nailed it when you said oh normally you go gore drinker and just play like an idiot that's literally what i do so like normally yeah. i'll just normally i'll just gore drinker and i'll go ravenous or some variation and mm -hmm. I will just push and mostly pull people to me. I'll very rarely step over the wave, like over the halfway portion of the map and just be like, all right, I'm going to try to pick somebody. Like I don't normally do yeah. that. So that I'll have to work on, I think more. So you're saying for this style and this type of build, you do this when you are facing squishier lanes or if you're snowballing, you'll do this a lot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, when you're snowballing, it's that's when it works best, right? Mm -hmm. But there are some games where you just kind of have to, right? Like, if they have four or five range champions, you can't, like, not go it, right? Okay. You won't use Gold Drunker against range champions. This doesn't, it's realistic. So, we'll put it on normal speed. I'm looking forward. I see the misfortune. I saw she warded. I figured she still, she didn't turn around right away. You can see she kind of kept. So, I was like, yeah. okay, I think I could try it. And then let's slow it down. So as you can see, I QR'd right away. Yeah, that's um, fine. And then auto, auto. I parried because I got scared. Yeah, that's fine because you would take a lot of damage there, right? Yeah. So what I want to show you here specifically is that obviously you could have killed if you got an auto at the end here or whatever, right? But mm -hmm. usually you play this game, you play this build with PTA. She would have disappeared if you had PTA. Oh. She would have been dead completely, right? So I missed it. Uh, I literally missed it because of rune gap there is what you're saying. Yeah, literally. Wow. But the thing is, runes are important here because if you go PTA, the enemies can go, like for example, a tank can go Ninja Tabby's Bramble Vest and then you just don't win the long trades anymore. So that's because... what you're, so you're basically, okay. Yeah, I like that you, I like that you brought this up. So let's dig into this a little further just for content mm -hmm. purposes. You're saying that you are going conquer because you are scared of this eventuality here. Yeah, because there are situations where the runes are flexible, but some you need them for the lane, right? Well, I call it worst case scenario. Yeah, essentially. Because like if he goes, you're saying Scion happened to go grasp. We didn't know. And then I go mm -hmm. PTA, but he goes grasp. 
and then builds full tank and now he pushes into us and we can never stop him correct that's yeah, basically what yeah. you're trying to say exactly if you have hole breaker it's not the pta's bonus damage that's going to make a difference really understood mm -hmm. so you're going conqueror well, is almost like an insurance policy against that exactly yeah because honestly pt would have been fine because he went 80 sign but you just never know well we didn't know yeah that's a that's you're mm. just <laughs> you're rolling the dice there right yeah. i like that i like that you pointed that out let me see real quick before i go uh i oh, think you, it was you yeah it was it was that it was it was here and i didn't identify which one was real uh and it sounded like you knew and that bothered me that you knew and i didn't so i don't like that stick it up, stick it up. i don't like that dude you can't know things that i don't know okay perfect so here yeah. you are we're, or here we are we're doing drag Shaco comes over the wall which I, I didn't see him at all that was so weird yeah I didn't see him on any Did vision really? yeah, yeah. Really? so here the, where's the virus on the left right got it left left so you know it's the one that has a vital on the left here and then the clone even has the vital spawning oh! you can see the formation of the vital. Oh! I'm, I'm annoyed here. I'm so annoyed yeah. man the amount of times people have been like, what the fuck? How do you know? <laughs> it's <laughs> obvious. It's in my face, man. It's like, the, it's like the stupid. It's, it's this it's right there. It's in my yeah, face. It's the same thing. It's you're, you're literally like watching me like he could see you right now. And I'm like, fuck. It's right <laughs> there. I hope it helps you a ton. I hope you learn some cool gimmicky stuff like the semi. I honestly don't think, I mean, I know you say gimmicky and I know you don't mean it in a, in a negative way, but it was not gimmicky at all. It was very good. It was yeah, very good. There's a lot of good stuff. Uh, Well-deserved uh, accomplishment on the challenger uh, climb with Fior. I think it was very, very good and very helpful to me. Because like I said, there's stuff I didn't catch. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I just want to say before I go, I appreciate you being here. Uh, shouts out to you and your stream. I will do, uh, when this video goes, I'll make sure to uh, do me a favor in our chat on Discord. Leave all the mm -hmm. socials and everything so I can do an appropriate shout out and make sure that we get you some some eyes on your content i think it was really good um and yeah man thank you so much this was a lot of fun i really do appreciate it got it yeah it was a lot of fun as well because not only like what i really liked like my favorite part was when i showed you the trick on the wall and then you instantly <laughs> did it i was like it, it, it put a little smile on my face I was like, let's go <laughs> yeah like, you can probably relate with that feeling a lot since you're a coach right it's like yep damn he's doing it right let's go